Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. It is Friday the 13th and it is moving day. I know you all, we have a lot to catch up on. I have not been vlogging so you all don't know what's going on and I get it. So we are PCSing. The time has come, it is time for us to leave and I'm excited. I'm really excited about all this. It is bittersweet because you know, you're ready to move and then when it really hits you, it's like, okay, am I really ready? I'm gonna miss this place, but not really. You know, it's it's lovely, it's nice, but I'm just wanna be next, close to family, travel, you know, do all the things that I talked about in my good, bad, and ugly video. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm ready for a change. It has definitely, it's been an awful year for me and I just need a different change of pace, a new scenery. So that's where it's at. Um, and right now, Anthony is not here. He actually had to attend a course prior to, hit to our PCS. So unfortunately, I'm left with the responsibility to move this house. I've done it before with our last PCS, moving from Pooler to here. And now I'm stuck at it again. So the movers will be here today. They will start packing. One will come initially in the morning and then others will follow thereafter in the afternoon. So let me show you what's going on right now before he gets here because he should be here momentarily. Right now everything in the house is semi-packed. I took the liberty to pack the things that I don't want them to touch or see. Um, things that are personal to me or I just want to have control of my own uh, organizational skills if you will. This room here is going to be off limits for the time being because they will reconvene on Monday and Tuesday to finish packing out the house and shipping everything. So this is my sewing area. I just pushed everything in there. I don't really care about the mess. I'm in the moving process. And um, I have my own crates of my sewing essentials. The TV, I know they will pack that last because they don't want us to, you know, stay in this house with no type of entertainment. And then this closet right here is where I housed all of my sewing essentials. So I pretty much gutted everything, but I still have some things that I need to go through. So this is what this closet looks like. And then we're going to move on down to the hallway. Um, I have a lot of laundry to do, a lot of Goodwill donations to make. We're going to go inside of the garage. The first packer will be here, and this is where he will start. And everything that we took care of is in the garage. So before Anthony left, we consolidated, got rid of, and packed a few things of our own. So when he starts here, I will let him know what's going and what's not going. We tried to sell this launch, this uh, washer machine, but um, we had a couple of hits, but not any no serious takers. So if it doesn't get um, um, sold before we leave, then it will come with us, which is fine. We are going to leave the lawnmower because Aunt Brandon has to cut the grass before we move out, before final inspection of the home. And then we acquired a couple of boxes so that we can, again, do our own packing because I have a lot of clothes that I need to put away and a lot of sensitive items that they don't need to touch. Pretty much everything is just straightforward. Um, he will be here momentarily, like I, meant, like I said before. And, oh, also we're going to have to drain the chest, the freezer. But all the food that we aren't take, we will not be taking with us. We will either donate or I will give it to a friend of mine who we will, who we will be staying with until we are until we're able to check into the hotel. So so as of now, the kids are in school. It's just me. Whoop de do. <laughs> but over the weekend, we still have a lot. We have a lot to do. So I make sure the kids got rid of everything that they don't need to have because if you haven't used it in two years, it's time to let it go. And that's that's the rule of thought that you need to have because if not, you're just going to accumulate things that you just haven't used and it's a waste of space and we normally do that when we PCS. So um, I got a lot to do. I'm going to catch in with you all, catch up with you guys once I get, you know, middle in the middle of the day and then we'll see how much he has gotten done after the fact. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. That's him. Okay, so far this is where they are and so basically majority of everything is packed up and they are they will probably load the truck today they're not sure as of yet but for right now what's basically available to be placed on the crate will be what's already packed he's currently working upstairs right now and he's doing a solo job right now that his crew's at another site so unfortunately for him He's doing it all by himself and they won't ship flammables, of course. So what he did not pack is what we will have to give away. And mostly all of Anthony's car cleaning products are not, you know, basically they're going to stay put. The next day. Happy Saturday, guys. And welcome to my sewing room. Today is the day that I clean it up and I don't really want to. 
So I've been sitting here procrastinating, <laughs> wishing I was doing something else. <laughs> yeah. So um, let me get you guys caught up to speed. Yesterday was a great day. The Packers came. They pretty much took care of everything upstairs to include the garage. They put it on inside of a crate, shipped it, sealed it. And it's at the shipyard awaiting the other items that will be complete by next week. The Packers will come back on Monday to reconvene and pretty much take care of everything downstairs. I told them when they came back that everything will be ready for them to be packed and loaded. Now, I also told them that this room is off limits because I wanted to make sure that I go through everything. I want to be, I want to reassure myself that I took care of my equipment. It was expensive. It is expensive and I don't want anything misplaced or broken. So I just want to take care of that for myself. Not to mention that I also had some last minute orders that needed to be completed. So that is pretty much what's on the agenda today. I just want to focus on this room and just get it all cleared out, packed and ready to go. But honestly, I don't know how I'm doing, but I am basically trying to keep sane because <laughs> this is overwhelming to say the least. I don't know how Anthony got out of this the first time, but the second time, now we got a problem. No fault on his own, but unfortunately he has just been, he has to attend school and he had to attend school the first time with PCS. And so it's, it's on me to pretty much pack up this house and I'm not happy about it whatsoever. I think it's just very unfortunate that I am left with this chaotic thing called PCS. <laughs> but I do have the older children and they've been a great help. So I'm very happy and appreciative of that. So we're making things happen. And I already shipped a car last week. That was good. That went well. No issues whatsoever. So for our secondary vehicle, I'm using Anthony's truck. Now it's an old school beater, but it gets me to where I need to be. The kids don't, the, fit, the kids fit nice inside, but unfortunately Azai has to sit in the front and I don't really like that, but his car seat will not fit in the second row. It's a very, you know, the older vehicles where they have that second row, but it's a very short row. I don't know how else to explain it. It just won't accommodate his car seat. So I had to put him in the front. But I've been ripping and running all week long. So it's been very stressful. Just taking care of the kids' appointments, my appointments, picking up last minute paperwork. So it's just been very, very busy. One last thing before I go ahead and finish this room. Um, my last order before I moved was very special and dear to me. You all know that I went through cancer and breast cancer that is. And I've had a very special person in my life who has been my cheerleader, my support system, just basically been there for me since the beginning. And I want to give her something to show her that I'm very appreciative of her and basically saying thank you. So this is to you, this is for you, Mary, although you probably have it by now, um, if you don't see this vlog, but I wanted to make sure that she received something that was gonna benefit her, but also in remembrance of me. I'm not going anywhere, but you know, I'm leaving and I want her to have something that I made from my heart. So let me show you guys what it is. So the bag that I decided to make Mary is called the Trailblazer, Trailblazer Backpack. And I wanted to make sure that this was going to be something that she can utilize, especially in her line of work. She deals with a lot of patients. I know she has tons of paperwork and documents that she carries with her. So I wanted to make sure that it complemented her lifestyle. And this to me was a perfect gift to give to her. And most of all, her title as a breast care nurse. And so I, I purposely picked this fabric, which is a breast cancer awareness fabric, which I love. I actually had a hard time um, actually utilizing this fabric because I wasn't ready yet. I wasn't ready to accept it, recognize it. Um, but then I finally got to a point where I was ready to face what it was and what it is that I was going through at the time. And so to me, this is the perfect fabric for her because she deals with a lot of women that um, go through and find out that they've been diagnosed with cancer. And I just want you know people to know that uh, she shares the same support, even though she's not affected by it personally. So another added bonus that I decided to add what was this, um, you know, breast cancer is all about the breast. So here's a little peekaboo. Uh, <laughs> I hope she finds this, you know, comical, but I thought it was a great bonus to add to the bag. I, I actually added more inside of this flap here and there's another 
a piece inside the bag but this is a very versatile bag for her it has a zipper pocket here she can put her keys in or pins or what have you then you have this extra large deep pocket in the front which is also closed with um, magnetic snaps and then there are also side pockets so she can add her drinks a canteen or whatnot and then if you turn it around to the back once again we have another large pocket and another zippered pocket for all of her essentials. This bag can be worn as a backpack, a crossbody. So we have the crossbody connectors here and it can also be hand carried. So she has plenty of options in, in how to wear this and the bag goes on for days. It's very deep on the inside and she can, there's slip pockets here so she can add her pins whatever her medical necessities are, even her cell phone can fit here, and then one extra interior zipper pocket as well. So, you know, this bag is has endless opportunities to be whatever you want it to be, and I really wanted to make sure that I was able to give her something that was gonna benefit her. So I really hope that she likes it. I'm gonna go take pictures of this today, and then by next week, I want to present this gift to her, and I can't wait to see her reaction. Good morning, good morning. It is Monday and hallelujah. <laughs> I am blessed and highly favored and so glad to be alive. But oh my goodness, this house is just overwhelming. But I am taking it day by day. So this weekend, it was okay. I just took it upon myself to make sure that I got everything that needs that pretty much need to be done before today, which is packing day again. And I shredded papers, went through the cabinets, and got rid of things that need to be donated or to the going to the trash. Um, but I had a lot of errands to run this morning before the packers, <clears throat> before they get here, because they're not here yet. So I defrosted my chest freezer last night, and I'm getting ready to clean it. It was originally in the corner, but now it's in the garage because I'm getting ready to take it outside, clean it out, and let it dry so they can pack it today. Uh, I told them to hold off on the washing machine. They took the dryer over the weekend, so like I said, you know, we're, we're closed, we're drying our clothes outside. So I have a load that needs to go out on the line, and then this load needs to be done. So I'll be taking care of that. This is trash here. So let's go to the other room, which is my sewing room. <laughs> I procrastinated in this, in this room over the weekend as well. So, so far, all I did was pack my secondary sewing machine. I didn't want them to touch that. And then I had to do this one here. I was finishing up some last minute orders, so I am now done. And everything else they can pretty much pack on their own. I consolidated and put everything in a tote box. So that's good to go. I wanted to sell my car seat, but I haven't got around to it. So it's just gonna come with us. But for the most part, everything in this room is good to go. I'm also going to go and vacuum the sofa in the, in the creases because I know food likes to get trapped in there before they pack it. Zai's over here. Zai, back up, honey. Come on, back up. He's watching TV, so he's pretty much good to go. As long as he's doing what he's doing, he's not in my, in my way. So yeah, that's really it. Uh, they haven't called me yet. Normally they'll, they will call me prior to their arrival. And last week, Friday, they were here around 8.30. And then um, today it's, it's what? It's going on nine o'clock. So they're not here yet, but they usually come between the hours and eight and 10 is what they told me. Last week, Friday was only one packer. So hopefully today it'll be a full house, maybe three or four workers to come in and take care of just about everything downstairs. I think well, the plan is to be done on Wednesday, but I, I have a feeling they might be done a lot sooner. Probably tomorrow would be that day. But it all depends on how much furniture I have and how much they can put in the crate because they get one truck with five crates on it. And once those are filled or, you know, sealed or and they ship, they take it to the yard, then the next day they'll bring a whole new crate and start over again. So anyway, enough rambling. Let me go upstairs and handle my business. And then I will see you guys between, you know, in the middle of the day.
sitting here talking the whole time and I did not repress record. Anyway, I'm at the clinic. I'm getting ready to give Mary her gift. So I'm excited about that. I can't wait to see her initial reaction. She's not at work yet. So I'm just sitting in the car trying to waste time. But um, Isaiah's over here, he's asleep. We had a long day yesterday. So I'm getting ready to walk in now and give her her gift. And that's really gonna be it for today's vlog. I need to focus on getting this house together and you know making sure that we are ready for our next steps, which is um, clearing out the house, staying with a friend, and then checking into the hotel. So I'll see you guys inside. So I gifted Mary oh my her gift. Gosh, girl. this is gorgeous. What the heck? <laughs> Don't do that because the camera. Oh my gosh. Oh I wanted to gosh. give you something that I thought oh. would be beneficial for your line of work. I know you oh carry. Oh my God. I'm yeah. like shivering. And I know you don't have breast cancer, but you've been a facilitator for us. Oh, and oh I wanted this is that too. absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God. Yeah. Look at that. And I gave you a little peekaboo. So if you lift open the flap, you okay. remember what I showed you? Uh huh. Here? Yes. Like this? Flip it open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Yes. Oh I, my I, God. I had to I had to find something that just, you know, oh correlates with the gosh. fabric. And I found some breasts. This so. is absolute you did not have to yes, do I this. Did. Yes I did. Oh my gosh. You're Give welcome. me a hug. They can arrest me. <laughs> Right? Oh, look at all that little mask. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I gave you a mask too. Oh, so when it, you know, mattress. Yes, it does. Wow, you are so talented, Thank lady. You. You are really a talented lady. Yeah. yeah see, this it. You you are gonna do fine because you are a vessel for others. Thank you know you. what I mean? Like yeah. you are. You have been, and you better be out in group the whole time. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Oh, I can't wait to show Rosa. Thank you. Okay. All right. It is, the house is done. <laughs> it is packed up. It is out of my hair. I am done. It is now nine o'clock at night. The kids are getting ready to go to bed. They still have school in the morning. <sighs> and the, the Packers finished probably around seven o'clock or maybe eight eight o'clock eight o'clock is when they were done so we just got back from getting something to eat tonight will be the last night that we sleep in this house it's a it's bittersweet it feels like we did good night Sam. <laughs> it feels like it did when we first moved in and i can't believe three weeks three years came and went it's just it's gone i've been through a lot I've been through a lot in this house. And it's funny how you have emotional ties with homes. I remember feeling this way when I first left my house in Savannah. It was our first home that we purchased together as husband and wife. And it was hard leaving it behind with those memories, especially when as I was born, bringing him home from the hospital and just not, you know, it's not his forever home. So where are we going next? It will be our forever home for a while. And that feels good. <sighs> so let's just go through the house one last time before I call it a day because I'm tired and this is going to be the end of the vlog. Okay, so this is the keeping room. Everything I did not want in the pack, I placed it here. All of our clothes, we have to go back and organize them. We tried to be very light this time during our travel, so less suitcases. This time, this go round, Brandon's asleep in his bed in the dark on the floor. <laughs> huh? Yeah, wrapped up as like a burrito. No air mattresses because we would have to fly with them, and we don't want to. So we're gonna make it. You know, hey, I slept on the ground when I was in the military, so you can learn how to do it too. Good night, son. Have a great day. <laughs> And Azai's room. So I am throwing away the rocker and rocking chair. More things that need to be packed away. We still have to do laundry. I will take care of that at my friend's house. I'm pretty upset that they do not take or pack or ship batteries. So we will be taking that with us. Yep, leave that alone, son. 
Okay, say goodbye to your room. So where's your room? I don't know. What happened to your room? Uh, Are you camera shy? No, my bed is gone. And this one gone. And <laughs> this is chair down your chair. See? Yeah, no more sitting in that chair as you fall asleep. That's what we did every night. He would go to bed, but you had to sit in that chair until he fell asleep. And if you, pretty much, if you left before he was asleep, you would know it. Because <laughs> he would chase you down. Huh? You what? You're gonna fall You're gonna sleep on the floor with me? Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Okay. All right. So. Let's check Angel's room. Yeah, let's check Angel's room. And this is downstairs, guys. So, empty house. We got a lot of trash to get rid of tomorrow. Uh, this is it. I had to turn in the cable boxes. Last day for internet. This is my master bedroom. Again, this is where I'll be sleeping. I forgot to pack myself or leave a blanket for for my for me. So I'll be exposed tonight. Was this trash too? I think it is. All right. Yes, that's trash. His and her closets. I didn't realize how big this closet was <laughs> since I've lived here because all of my things I had a second row here for my pants to hang, but I this closet to me was about yay big, yay wide. It was not a lot. Maybe I just had too much stuff. But of course, this was the husband's the husband closet. And everything in here, just need to get rid of everything that they choose not to, they chose not to pack. <clears throat> I'll be throwing away the curtains and everything else that's there. Downstairs kitchen, like I said before, I have to get rid of everything. We completely tossed everything in the pantry. I left myself some tuna because I've been really, really eating very light these last couple of days. Um, cleaning lady will be here tomorrow. Tomorrow, <sighs> and again, this was our dinner for tonight. And I still have things in the fridge. I will. I try not to get rid of much if it's unopened. I actually, I should have thrown this away here, but uh, if it's unopened, I'm gonna give it to my friend so she can use it. And same thing on the, in the freezer section. Everything here. The storage closet, okay. The other storage closet. Oh yeah, um, one thing I wanted to mention as well, I had recorded this, but once again, guys, I'm terrible at vlogging. We had a water heater leak and pretty much rippled the vinyl flooring. But they are going to replace the entire floor um, on the lower level, all throughout to include the kitchen. And this room, so whoever gets this house next, <laughs> you got you you're lucky because you got a new set of floors and they're going to match the ceiling fan, the color there. So they're gonna be dark. They're gonna be dark final panels. Ah, so yeah, that's really it, guys. This is the house, and I am sad to see it go. I'm happy to leave, but at the same time, <sighs> a lot has really transpired and you know it's a bittersweet feeling when you have to leave something that created memories for you whether they, they were good or bad and just kind of going through my cancer diagnosis I mean I was already diagnosed <laughs> going through my cancer journey uh, it was really hard to live in this house because I was ready for a change and I, I it was hard for me to come home on certain days and just look back and think about figured I figured I'd talk to you while I'm talking about it but look back and think about that day before I discovered I had cancer so you know that that pivotal moment that changed everything one day you came home and you were happy and you had nothing to worry about and then the next day your world just came crashing down so i'm ready to leave that chapter in my life it will always be 
in my mind, but I'm sick of it being in the forefront. So I'm ready to put it somewhere in the back of my mind where I'm not constantly thinking about it. So I'm ready to move on. I didn't think I was gonna cry about this, but <laughs> I just had a beautiful photo shoot yesterday. And if you um, are, uh, if you're uh, following me on Instagram, you'll see it. But she captured such a beautiful moment in my life and it just had me reflect heavily on what I've been through this year. So I'm ready to go. So with that being said, because I'm tired of crying about it, um, if you enjoyed the vlog, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. I know I haven't been vlogging in a while and I'm getting better at this. I'm finally at a point where I'm okay to do so. I owe you guys an update. So when I get to the hotel and I'm situated, I will, get, I will tell you everything that has transpired with me and my health since the last time you guys have seen me. Um, and I can't wait to share that with you all. So thank you all for checking in on me. Thank you for um, basically being supportive and, and just showing love and, 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 and everything else in between. You guys have really made this journey so easy for me to know that I have people that were praying and speaking prosperity in my life. And I really appreciate that. And it doesn't go unnoticed. I wish I was vlogging more so I could share my journey with you all, but my health came first and so did my mental health and I had to take a step back. But I'm here, I'm in the flesh. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Until then, good night guys, bye.